Today, I'm gonna try to cover every conceivable reason why your new layer might appear white in Photoshop. I've gotten a few comments about this on the channel, and so I thought I'd just address this in the most complete way possible that I know. So let's start with this. Most of the time in Photoshop, when you open up a new document, and I'll show you how to change this as well, you get a background layer, and that background layer is almost always white. Now, if you create a new layer on top of this, doesn't matter how many layers you create, notice the checkerboard pattern means that they are transparent. No matter what, you still see this white background layer. You can hide this background layer once you start adding more layers. You can also unlock it, it creates a layer out of it, and you can simply delete this. Now you've gotta add more layers on top of it before you delete that one, because you always have to have at least one layer in your Photoshop document. But let's back this up and start a new document. There's a couple things to look at. First, let's make sure you can actually see the transparency properly. I've seen this as being the solution, so go up to Photoshop, down to Preferences. I don't have any document open, so this is like, the general overall preferences no matter what document I do open. Hey, this is me in a little bit later while I'm trying to edit this video. I realized that uh, on PC, on Windows, the preferences is under edit all the way down at the bottom. So if you're looking for preferences, you can't just hit Photoshop, it's not there. So go to edit down to the bottom. I think preferences are there. After that, same, same stuff. All right, back to the video. Go down to transparency and gamut. That's gonna pull this sucker up. On the grid size, you may have this as none. And if it is none, you're gonna see no grid. So your transparent background is going to just simply appear white no matter what. So make sure this is set to medium and the grid is proper. You can select this light one. That is just the general default grid that it always uses for transparency, allows you to see that transparent background. Okay, so now we know that we can see transparency, but when we create a new document and we open this up, underneath the, well actually it's not even under the advanced options, you see background contents on here. We can select if we want this to be custom, transparent, background color, or white. Most of the time the default is white. I never even change this either. So if I create a document, that background color is white. Now here's something to note. If I use the new layer button at the very bottom of my screen, that new layer is transparent. If I go up to layer, down to new, and create a new layer, Notice the shortcut key for this, shift command in or shift control in if you're on PC. Create that new layer, same exact thing happens after it asks me what to name it, transparent background, okay. Well, if I, like a lot of people do, just hit that command or control J button, that actually, if you look under this layer, new layer, is layer via copy. So if I'm hitting that off of my background, that's gonna create a new layer that's a copy of the background, which is white. So that new layer is now white. That's not transparent. Now, if I want to go ahead and hide this background, which means there's gonna be transparency underneath, what I can do in any case that I have a white layer and there's actually white contents on it, I can hit Command or Control A, hit the delete key just to delete out any of the contents on that entire selection as big as my canvas size. However, I would not just rely on that. Let's go over a couple of more potential issues. Back to creating a new document. Did you know that Photoshop has artboards now? Kind of like Illustrator, you can have different artboards. It's almost like having different size documents within one Photoshop document. If I select that button and hit create, Generally, the artboard is transparent. You see that in the thumbnail in this layer, but why is my artboard white, right? If I look in the properties panel while clicking on this artboard, and if you don't see properties, go to window down to properties, that sucker has a background color of white. I don't want this, I want it to be transparent. And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, I'm pretty sure if you export that as a PNG, it is gonna have a white background. So that is actually contents that doesn't show up in my layers, I'm pretty sure. You can test that at home. But regardless, this I always need to do is switch my artboard background color to transparent. Now it shows up as that grid that we made sure we defined in the preferences before. So we've got that background layer that you can simply delete. You've got command or control J, don't hit that on the background layer, it's gonna create a duplicate of that white background layer, it's just gonna create white layers on top of that. So the new layer button down here, no matter what, should always create a new transparent 
layer. Now let me check my notes. I'm gonna make sure that I covered everything that I meant to cover. I wrote down a couple things. Let's get in here. Create new document, white background. Yep, so you can select that white background or you can select transparent when you create the new document or if you select the white background, you can always just delete out the white background. New document with artboard, we just covered that. Transparency settings, we covered that in the very beginning and command J. That's all for this tutorial. If any of that helped you, I certainly hope it did. That's everything I could think of for a reason why your layer would appear to have a white background, even though it's transparent, or your layer would actually have a white background because you're maybe creating copies of the layer that's already there. The default preferences, if you need to reset your settings or reset your preferences or reinstall Photoshop, it should start hitting that new layer button, it will be transparent. That's how it works and that's how you should visually see it with all the basic default preferences. Of course, if you have any questions or that's not working for you, let me know and I'd love to figure out if there's anything else that I'm missing here, but I'm pretty sure that's everything I can think of as far as not having a transparent layer. By the way, I have a ton of other tutorials on this channel about how to get rid of uh, white backgrounds from logos, how to save out transparency, um, how to create watermarks with transparency, all kinds of stuff like that. So I'll leave those links in the description down below. I'm Spencer, this is Pixel and Bracket. I'll see you guys next time. Here we go. Maybe I ain't lose no step. I've been trying to catch my breath.